Hey everybody here at Muse TV. We are here with Alexi and Jeremy for Olympic Dreams. How does this movie all come about? Because when I saw it, I was like, wait, is this a documentary or is this a movie? Because it's shot amazingly beautiful. How did it all come together? Yeah, well, it's it's a, it's a real compliment that you felt like it was uh, unfolding in a way that felt organic and natural because we were um, not only aiming for that, but we were in the actual Olympic Village. So the president of the Olympics saw our last film, Tracktown, on a flight, and he invited us over to Pyeongchang. I'm a summer Olympian, and he invited us to the Winter Olympics mm -hmm. to make a film project inside the games. And it was such a privilege to be there. And it's very fun that, you know, we got to bring Nick Kroll and sort of integrate him with these real Olympic athletes to make a story that is fictional, but definitely based on reality. Yeah. It's the first fictional movie ever shot inside a real Olympic village. And I think, you know, the, the reason we had access to that is because Alexi is an Olympic athlete. Mm -hmm. So was, there was the authenticity and the trust there. Mm -hmm. But then we were, it started actually as a short film. And then we, we grew it into a feature length mm -hmm. film. Uh, just to have that playground of the real Olympic village where we, at a story that we had scripted out with Alexi and Nick, and then we pulled in athletes to you know, play fun cameos. Yeah. Here's the one thing I love about you guys, because Tracktown really brought the humanity to the athlete, and once again, you did that again, and you took it to a whole different level, especially with Valentine's Day coming out, with it coming out on Valentine's Day weekend. It just kind of like, it, if you have been an athlete, within your movies, you relate so well to it. Why is it that, I mean, especially since you're an Olympic athlete, you're all constantly training, you give a perspective that nobody else really ever sees. Well, I really appreciate that and how fun that we have known you throughout our career <laughs> yeah. because that is such a, that's a wonderful mm -hmm. growth to, to experience and it's really a privilege that you have experienced it with us. Yeah. So I think for me, it's just that I, I watch sports mm -hmm. films and I, I understand that uh, my experience as an athlete is different than what uh, the audience might experience when they watch sports. Right. And so especially with the Olympics, there's so much coverage mm -hmm. and there's so many interviews with the athletes, but that's a totally different side of sport than the mm -hmm. athlete experience. And we wanted to show what it really feels like to be the athlete rather mm -hmm. than uh, just the athlete on the playing field, the athlete off the playing field. Mm -hmm. And that moment after the Olympics, is was really uh, honestly the most surprising part about the Olympics for me because if you thought the moment after the Olympics, if you thought about that before the Olympics, you probably wouldn't get there in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so we want, but when you, when you are done, it's quite a shock. Yeah. And that was the biggest shock for me and we wanted to put it on, on, on screen. Awesome. And that's the one thing, because I believe when we met for Tracktown, you guys were engaged. Uh huh. Now you're married. How much of your personal life did you bring into the story? Because I mean, he's a he's a director, filmmaker. You're an athlete, kind of similar to what, except he was a dentist and you're <laughs> dentist a, filmmaker. You're a you're yeah. a cross country skier. How much did you bring into it? Because like it, I was like thinking about it. And I was like, I wonder how much of it is your story. We've definitely grown in the in the time you know between Tracktown our previous film mm -hmm. and this and I think Tracktown was a movie that blended fiction with reality mm -hmm. just like Olympic Dreams does but Tracktown was capturing the emotional experience of trying to make it to the Olympics mm -hmm. uh, so you know that feeling of being razor focused on something like that you might or might not get. You yeah. Know, and, and, you know, I wasn't an Olympian yet when we made mm -hmm. Track Town and when we met you. Mm -hmm. And so I think any of the emotional core that was captured in Olympic Dreams was was new since we met you. Um, mm -hmm. And as far as our relationship, yes. you know, I think actually Jeremy can relate to the experience that Penelope has mm -hmm. in Olympic Dreams just like I can mm -hmm. because he's pursuing something as a filmmaker, as an independent filmmaker that's very hard and there's a feeling after a film is done mm -hmm. that is not so dissimilar to the moment after an Olympic race is done mm -hmm. where you're, you, it's just a, 
it's an exhale of sorts Mm -hmm. and it's beautiful, but it's also challenging. It's emotional. And I think anybody can relate to this film if they've ever chased something hard or had some sort of pinnacle of their life, you know? And I mean, yeah, the, the experience of like what Olympic dreams is capturing is the moment after. So track town is like the moment before Yeah. Yeah. everyone already, you know, you could watch the Olympics on, on TV and know what that looks like. Mm -hmm. But, like, what's it feel like to be an athlete right after? That's kind of where our movie opens. So, of course, that reflects our changing experiences, too. I and mean, we hadn't been to an Olympics yet when Tracktown came out. Uh, and, and with indie film, you you know, you have to make a movie that only you can make. And then Nick, <laughs> the Ezra character, actually was based on an experience I had in Rio at mm-hmm. the Olympics where, so there are these volunteer doctors, and, mm-hmm. and so few people know realize that there's this whole polyclinic. And I actually made friends with a doctor at the gym when I was there. And uh, of course, I was engaged to be married and unavailable in the same way that Penelope is. <laughs> but nonetheless, that really sparked the mm-hmm. inspiration for the Ezra character. Awesome. And that's what I was actually going to go up <laughs> and ask you next. But um, to end this what can you tell the music audience to get them out to watch this? Because this is one of those films where you really have to see it on in a yeah. theater, in the big screen, in order to get the full experience on what that, especially with the color profile, the way you shot it, to get that relationship feel that you can't get on in TV. Thank you. Well, I think everyone's curious about what goes on in the Olympic Village. So if if people have ever had a curiosity of, one, what does it feel like to be around the best in the world and and still have challenges. That's like really an emotional core that I think anyone uh, would really enjoy uh, being around. And also just really the sheer joy of the playground of the Olympic Village and the Olympic Games. It's so much different than than the, the sports games themselves. Mm-hmm. To see inside the village is to see uh, the, I don't know, it's like, it's like peering inside of of a, um, I mean, like a snow globe. It's like you go inside the snow globe. What does that feel like? Yeah. So. Yeah. Did you know that there's a laundry room in the athlete <laughs> village? We have a scene that takes place. There's like a laundry room. Mm-hmm. You know, other things like the game room. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. nobody's allowed. Yeah. You know, it's so places cool. you've never seen. Mm-hmm. So that's just. And there is an element of, of documentary where mm-hmm. you were saying it feels like it. And, you know, some of those moments where we're filming in the mm-hmm. game room, some of the athletes just didn't care that we were filming, of mm-hmm. course. And so they were just being their natural selves. So in some mm-hmm. ways, there you will see things uh, that were totally unscripted and just captured. Very cool. I, I just love the fact that we've seen you grow. Thank we've you. seen you grow in film and... Thank you so much for stopping with us. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to watch Olympic Dream coming out next week in theaters. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Thanks. So nice to see you.